Hello, everybody. Happy New Year. I'm sorry about the light. Only oh, put the other light on. There we go. All right. Uh, since this is my first video of the new year, I'd like to say again, Happy New Year. Hope everybody had a great holiday season. Whatever you celebrated, I hope it was wonderful, a wonderful time for you, with you and your family. So this is my first cartoons for the new year, uh, inspired by my friend and fellow YouTuber, John Montagna's Ride Jam. I'm going to take my seatbelt off here. Hold on. I'm sure that's like an optical illusion here. And uh, inspired by John Montagna and his Ride Jams, like I said, you know, or as Orson Welles would say, inspired by that same French excellence. It's fermented in the bottle and blah, 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 blah. Uh, yeah, I'll be doing quite a few of these because I am... In a play, I'm finally getting back into you know theater again. It's something I wanted to do, and starting out on the community end, but it's something that I'm excited about. And uh, today was our first rehearsal. It's a um, a read through of the script. It's a version of uh, Twelve Angry Men titled Twelve Angry Jurors. It's um, a co-ed cast, so um, which is good. A lot of opportunities there, so. Yeah, I'll be going to and from rehearsal, and I'll be playing playing my music. And um, this is what we have for this evening. Uh, on the drive to rehearsal, because it's, it's Martin Luther King Day, Marvin Gaye, what's going on? This is the deluxe edition that came out some years ago. Uh, played this one because it's such a great album, too because of the day of the day what day it is and unfortunately it's st still relevant today but aside that uh the music is great um it, it's a sweet and yeah he really had a lot he really had a lot a lot to say and considering the crap that Barry Gordy was trying to put him through when that album came out um it's kind of great that he proved Barry Gordy wrong, and he was right. So, it's really good. And right now, coming home from rehearsal, it's Miles Davis, Live Evil. Uh, just I just took it out. Here's the actual cover, if you can see that. Uh, this came out, I believe, in 72. It's sort of a uh, a concept album, you could say. And the fact that, oh, it's live and studio. And the studio stuff is very ambient. Very ambient stuff. Extremely ambient stuff. Uh, stuff that was written by a Brazilian composer. Um, um, Got to pronounce his name wrong. Hermito Pascal. I've pronouncing his name wrong, I know I'm butchering it, but, you know, there you go. But the live stuff was taken from the Celador in D.C., and the band that he had at the time, I mean, uh, Gary Bartz on, on uh, alto and soprano sax, uh, Keith Jarrett on piano, Jack DeJohnette on drums, Michael Henderson on bass, the wild percussionist Artu Marira, who is actually a very good drummer as well, uh, on the first couple of... Uh, Return to Forever albums with Chick Corea. He's a very good straight-ahead jazz drummer. Um, but here he's just unleashing this fire of chaos on percussion that I've loved. I mean, just it seems like he's coming up with a bunch of random sounds. Hey, let me shake this here. I got a, a dog whistle. I'm going to go and blow that dog, dog whistle right now. Oh, um, I'm going to start scat singing behind Miles playing. And sitting in on those dates was John McLaughlin on guitar, and you just the the live stuff, v very funky, groovy. Um, this was Miles during his wah wah pedal period, playing the trumpet with the wah wah pedal, and when you first hear him start playing on the first track, you don't know if it's a guitar or a trumpet. Eventually, he stops the wah wah at some point to let you know, hey, it's Miles still here. But um, some great stuff on that album and uh, still holds up to this day. Remember, physical media always rules and gives you gratification. 
And what's not to love when you have it in your hand and you don't have to worry about losing your streaming services? <laughs> I don't. Y'all have a great evening, and I have some videos in the works. The editing part always kills me, and sometimes my um, I get too ambitious, and I don't follow through on things. But I got some some film things I'm going to be doing, and I'll do, be doing some more cartoons, and I'll be keeping you posted on a lot of things. So, peace and much love. See you on the next video.